Hi, I'm Stephen James, author of Discover Torch Enameling, and today I'm going to show you how to use enameling paint and table salt to create a fantastic torch enameling look. So these are the tools and materials that we'll be using for today's project. Safety is very important, so we'll need safety goggles, a dust mask. We also want a stainless steel tray that we'll use to protect our surface as we're working on it. We're also working with material that you can find at the hardware store. This is a copper tube, which I've annealed. And these are French shears, which I'll use to cut the tube. Once the tube has been cut into thirds, I'll actually use my hammer, as well as my bench block, to flatten them. This bench block actually probably looks very familiar. It's a helicopter punch, but I've removed the pins, and I'm going to use it to flatten my pieces. Once they've been flattened, I'll use my hole punch to punch the holes. And then my metal is ready to be cleaned. I will use a copper cleaner, Penny Bright, as well as some water, and another household item, a toothbrush, which will help remove all of the grime and, and dirt from your copper piece. Once it's cleaned, it's ready for the next set of materials, which are your enamels. We have a black enamel for counter enameling, and then we have our base coat, which is a basic white enamel. There's more enamel that we'll be using today, and it comes in an acrylic enamel paint form and in this case, we're using blue. One of the ways that we'll apply our paint to our enamel will be with this toothpick, as well as some water, and then we'll really get the surface for our project using basic table salt. We'll be firing our project on our kiln brick. It will be placed on the stainless steel trivet, and we'll use these tools, the bent nose pliers, as well as the tweezers, to remove and work with our project. The last thing that you'll need today will be your Max Flame Butane Torch. Oh, and one more thing that you will want to add to your materials list are magazine sheets. And you can see I've corded them. You'll use this during the sifting process. And this is where we get to start the fun part, which is adding the salted enamel look. We've added a counter enamel as well as a base coat to this copper piece. And you can learn all of those basic torch enameling techniques on my website. So we have our blue paint and we have a little bit of water. We want to create a watery paint mix on the surface of our project. And we want to really add a lot of water to this piece because this technique is a watercoloring technique, actually, that I learned in high school. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt now. And the salt is going to absorb the paint as well as the water and, and draw the paint into certain sections. Now you can see. Uh, I've added a little bit of salt, not too much. We want to allow this to completely dry before we fire it. And I just so happen to have one that has been completely dried. Now we're getting ready to fire this. It's super important that you will wear your goggles when you're firing because some of the salt will pop off during the process. We also want to remove all combustibles, such as our paint containers, away from this area. So we're going to fire. And you notice that some of the pieces actually, some of the salt actually popped off. While it's cooling down, I want to point out some things. The base color, this in this case white, needs to go to the fully fused stage, as does the blue color that we're using as well. You'll also notice that the salt has settled into the background. Now this needs to be submerged in water after it has completely cooled. That water will 
actually dissolve the salt. It'll leave behind some great color as well as some great texture. And I happen to have that next step right here. I have a piece that has already been fired and you'll notice that the salt is embedded into the surface and the water is going to help remove it. So you'll let the project sit in there for about five minutes. That will help dissolve the salt and it will leave behind the salted enamel texture. And here is one of my uh, final pieces. You can see this gorgeous texture, gorgeous color. I'm ready to finish off this pendant and I'm going to add my third piece. I'll use a simple jump ring connection and then it's ready to be attached to chain. The salted enamel technique, which is featured in my book, Discover Torch Enameling, is something that you can use on a lot of different shapes and in a lot of different torch enameling projects. So don't be afraid to take one project in the book and play around with a lot of different techniques. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to work with salted enamels. You can learn even more in my new book, Discover Torch Enameling, which features 25 amazing projects with detailed instruction. I love seeing what readers have done with the techniques that I've taught them, and I'd love to see what you've done. So visit my Facebook page and upload a photograph, or tweet it using my Twitter account.